the best way to describe the type of residents that work here are residents that are serious without taking themselves too seriously. We like to have a lot of fun while we do this really meaningful, powerful, important work together. The most important things I think in a program is the people that you're surrounded with. So when, you, when you're surrounded with um, other good people who are very supportive of each other, um, it makes the program that much better. I fell in love with people even on my one day of interviewing here. Um, I think that the faculty here is fantastic and um, that was reinforced when I came back for my second look. One of the things that really drew me to this program was the collaborative nature of the relationship between the faculty and the residents, how well everybody knew each other. There was such a sense of mentorship, um, but you know, you could tell right away that the faculty was learning just as much from the residents as the residents were learning from the faculty. We have a really great relationship with the residents here. Um, Joanna Lewis has done a great job with um, making sure we foster an environment where the residents feel safe. Um, and by safe, I mean they are comfortable coming to us about anything, whether or not it is medical related, um, whether or not it's a joy they want to celebrate or a struggle that they're having. And we all have very open door policies here and I think that the residents can really feel that. So the type of training you can expect at Advocate Children's Hospital Park Ridge is one that's incredibly broad. You still get your bread and butter pediatrics. You are very comfortable with the everyday things that a pediatrician should know how to do, while also still getting some of the more interesting and exciting things that pediatricians get to see as well. I think we experience those things because of the diverse populations that we experience. We're in, you know, close to the city, close to the airport, lots of different cultures. Uh, come here and seek medical care here, so definitely getting that exciting aspect as well. Um, working with families who speak Spanish is something that I truly love about my continuity clinic. I know growing up, um, I um, had to interpret for my mom. So I, you know, my pediatrician didn't speak Spanish, so being able to communicate with these fam families in their native languages, I think, builds better um, like relationships than going through an interpreter. So that's one of my favorite parts, is working with um, Spanish-speaking families in Continuity Clinic. We have had a strong history of training both medical students and residents and fellows at um, ACH. Over 40 years of experience in this area. Um, I think our what we bring to the market is a wonderful experience, very diverse experience, but we do it in a family-friendly way. And so our physicians and our residents and fellows work together side by side, uh, and the learning uh, environment is a very uh, enjoyable learning environment for our trainees. One of the things we pride ourselves on within the residency program is preparing our residents to do anything when they finish. We believe that the best thing we can give you is a super strong, solid general pediatric base that really allows you to pivot in any direction that you want. Uh, the teaching faculty at Advocate Children's Hospital, I, in one word I would say is engaged. Um, they all do a very good job of participating actively in the care of their patients and sharing that learning with the residents and the medical students. So it's they're very involved and they're excited and they're enthusiastic. So it's a pleasure to see them interacting and knowing that they're teaching the future uh, physicians of tomorrow that are going to actually take their place. Being kind of situated in northwest Chicago suburbs, we have a huge catchment area including all different types of um, people here that come to our hospital. Our patient population is very diverse. I've only been on the floor for two months, but already I've seen anything from meningitis to asthma to eating disorders to syndromes I've never heard of. I probably would have to like reference a textbook to remember the full name. Um, so you definitely see a wide variety of pathology here. Working in the emergency department, um, we do do a lot of on-the-fly teaching, and I love that because it, it just encompasses teachable moments. And sometimes I feel like the best learning occurs when there's a new learning opportunity or a new unique um, situation or patient right at the bedside. We pride people in is getting them exposure to all the different fields. So you're going to leave here knowing that you had an amazing experience and, and you would be able to be a well-trained and productive general pediatrician, which I think is important as a residency goal. But at the same time, you're going to get exposure to all the different specialties um, so that you have all the information you need if you want to decide to go into a fellowship and also have the support of those subspecialists to really help you get your career on track. And I think that our training is comprehensive in the clinic as well as the inpatient world. We see, like exactly like Hella said, we see such a diverse patient, patient population and serve so many different cultures here, which has really enriched my own medical training. 
Um, I feel very comfortable going out into the world and being able to take care of kids both in the clinic and in the hospital setting. In addition to the broad clinical experiences, our residents um, are taught and worked in an environment of cultural humility and partnership. We know that residency is hard, uh, but we do believe that um, we can support our residents and still achieve excellent educational outcomes. My role is to just sort of introduce them to the program let them know that they have somebody they can come to if they have any questions or concerns about the program um, or if they just want to talk about a, a difficult day or a difficult patient experience. Um, I really enjoy that sort of one-on-one -on -one mentorship. One of the aspects of our program that's very unique is the true primary care practice that our residents develop in the outpatient clinic. When you start in residency right away, you have a patient panel that you take care of. You learn how to care for patients from birth, through school age, through adolescence, you are their primary care doctor. And developing this patient panel is a very rewarding way to learn about outpatient pediatrics. If I could pick one word to describe the atmosphere at ACH Park Ridge, I would say my word would be empathy. I think that from the attendings down to the interns, to your co-residents, to the nursing staff, the ancillary staff, everyone understands that this is a learning environment and is really empathetic towards understanding you're working hard, you're often working under stress or when you're tired, and you're here to learn, and they really understand that, and I really feel that emotion, that empathy from them. The trainees that leave our programs feel very confident going out being an independent clinician um, and they're sought after by fellowship programs, they're sought after by uh, pediatric practices uh, for employment um, and they, they remain in contact with us for many years after they finish because of their experience here. I think that the strength of the residency program undoubtedly lies in the people. It's about the people. Um, the people that, that choose to be here are all drawn together by the common passion for patient care and teaching. And I think that when that is what draws people together, it really results in an incredible learning experience for the residents. And that's because that's what we really value. We are looking for residents who want to join our family. We are a program that is full of caring people. We care for each other, we care for our patients, we care for our community, and we're looking for people who want to do that.